Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be playing Checkers for Kids. This was developed by Marionette Games, published by Prison Games, and releases on August the 20th for a price of $9. So, tons of little customization options here that we can do. So, we've got a selection of toys. So, you know, this is a Checkers game that's obviously by the name, generally aimed at a younger audience, and you know, you can select your checker pieces in a certain thing. So, when the player's an elephant, and we're going to go against the big scary robot, I think, for this one. We can modify the colours or checkerboard. So, you actually get an achievement for modifying it, but you can set it to whatever you like. So, I'm going to go orange and blue. And. We do get an achievement for looking at our little pet fish. So there he is. Nice little tank, nice little toys. And let's jump straight into the checkers. So, what we've got with this is we've got a ton of rule modifiers. So there is an achievement for playing on all the rules. But we've got different ones so we can move them backwards and forwards. We can Move the last one. So we want to do that. We're going to go for that one. Obviously, you can do single player, multiplayer, and using one or two controllers. So, you know, there's tons of little customization options there. So, you know, you've got two kids, or you know, you want to play with someone, just play with someone else, you know. Using uh, one controller is never a bad thing, but we're going to do single player with the rules and jump straight in. Change the camera view as well if you so wish. I didn't actually save my toy modifiers, that's why we've got ducks v raccoons. Tower, it's aimed at a younger audience, you know, it gives you a bit of an insight of what you know what pieces you can move. So, you know, for someone that's a lot younger or you know hasn't really played much checkers before, you know, they're not gonna have a hard time in working out what to do or where to go. Got some nice uh, relaxing music to play against as well. We're not doing too badly, uh, we've lost one but we took more than we've lost so should have a nice little win here. He says he's got himself into a bit of a trap here but... I'll take this one.
quite helpful to be able to switch the board there when um, got a bit closer. One piece is proving difficult to get any. go crushed in so what we can do is we can replay we can play under a different set of modifiers you know we can continue as the king toy you know we can keep it in the row you know standard ones can move forwards and backwards you can make it compulsory to take a piece you know, there is achievement for playing on the rule sets of rules. You know, the list isn't going to take you that long. So, going through the list, you know, you only need to win 20 matches and that'll get you three of the achievements. Two of the achievements are tied to playing with all the toys. You know, you get one for changing the background, one for looking at the fish, one for playing with a friend instead of the AI, collecting 200 pieces, grabbing the queen crowning one of your pieces of king, play with all options, block your opponent off and win without losing a toy. Overall, really, you know, fun little casual checkers game, you know, looking at it with, with the rules and everything, you know, it's definitely aimed for a nice younger audience and, you know, with the options that you've got, it's a very bright and colourful game. So, you know, it's something that 
I'll definitely recommend for a younger audience, 100%. And you know, for only $9, you know, it's a, you know, it's a bargain, it's an easy thousand, and definitely something that I would play to completion. So anyway guys, thank you for watching this review. I actually have three copies of this game to give away. If you look on my Twitter on Glitz and Gaming Couple to see the details and enter that and you can have a code for this before release. So anyway guys, thank you for watching this video. Please like and subscribe for future videos.